I've filmed this probably like 15 times now. Hold on, my glasses are filthy. Today we're actually starting. Um, if you are new here, I don't know what I'm saying. You would think after almost six years of filming YouTube videos that I would know how to introduce a video, but today's just not my day. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Delilah, if you're new here. And today, we are starting a new series that I have been wanting to start for a very, very long time. We are going to declutter each and every nook and cranny of my home very thoroughly, slowly, intentionally, and carefully over the course of the winter. That is my goal anyway. Whether or not it's going to happen is to be determined, but I've been wanting to do this for so long. I've really come to realize how much stuff we have and how much stuff we don't need. Just changing my mindset on consuming things and keeping things and throwing things away, trying to mend things before buying new, um, trying to thrift before buying new and just not buying so much stuff. Our spending habits were just kind of starting to get out of control. We were buying things that we didn't really need. I wouldn't say it was anything crazy, but we were we were spending more than we needed to on things that we didn't really need. And so I'm trying to be really, really intentional about what we consume and that first of all starts with our buying habits. That is a whole topic for another video that I'm not going to get into right now, but I really wanna make every single nook and cranny and corner of our home organized and clean and not stressful. I think that's a big thing that Zach and I have really been feeling lately is that the amount of stuff and clutter in our home is just, it, it's stressful. And we spend so much time just putting things away, trying to find places for things that don't have a home. So the goal is to find a home for everything that we own and to only own the things that serve a good purpose in our home. So we're going to start in our closet because our closet is it's getting bad. <laughs> uh, and then throughout the winter, I want to declutter like our room and the bathrooms and the closets and the kids' rooms. We wanna go through like the living room and the toys in the playroom and the kitchen. The kitchen really needs a good declutter. And then slowly going through like the storage downstairs and stuff like that, so. I'm excited for this. I hope this sparks a little bit of cleaning, organizing, decluttering motivation for you as well. well. Let me just show you our closet and let's get this started. This is our closet. It's not too bad. There's a bunch of stuff up in those baskets. I have no idea what they are. This is Zach's section. That's my merch. These are my clothes. And then I also have a drawer underneath for like underwear and pajamas and stuff. And so does Zach. This is a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. We've got a pile of miscellaneous things, mostly donations. We have a whole bunch of boxes underneath these clothes that are overflowing with things like memories and keepsake. This is where our laundry goes and that's it. That's our closet. The amount of stuff that we could just kind of have shoved into the corners of this closet is driving me insane. And and I desperately need to go through this. So I feel like this is the perfect place to start this series, especially since we are going from summer to winter and there is that transition of clothing. So I'm gonna be going through my clothing, really purging a ton of stuff. I'm really trying to work on a capsule wardrobe that's going to suit all seasons. Um, that's gonna suit my body that changes over the years. Trying to fill it with really intentional pieces that mix and match with one another that I really love. So I'm gonna be really super honest with myself with everything in my closet because I know there are things in here that I, I've clung onto for a long time, but I never wear. pieces in my closet that I love but I have never worn because they don't fit me. The skirt is beautiful but it is too big in the waist and I could learn how to fix it but if I'm being honest with myself I know I will probably never get around to doing this so I'm going to donate it to someone who can use it and I will continue hunting for a skirt that fits me.
and brought up a box to start putting donations into. This is what I found left remaining in my closet after I last decluttered. And then there's also this pile of clothing that I'm also donating. So it's almost a week later, uh, thing after thing after thing after thing after thing came up last weekend and so I really didn't get a whole lot done. We have much more to do and so the kids are at Gammy's house today. Mama has a little bit of free time so we're gonna do this. My neck is so sore. My neck is always sore. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm wearing the exact same outfit I was wearing last week too, except um, I did get a couple coffee stains on my shirt this morning. We're gonna start with the drawers, I think. Uh, and then Zach is home today, so I'm gonna go through his drawers and his clothes a little bit later, and then we'll tackle the rest. I, for some reason, thought they would be easy to take out, but maybe they aren't going to be easy to take out. We're just going to move this whole thing. Where we have more space. Oh my goodness. I apologize in advance if dust bunnies gross you out. Skip ahead five seconds. Nasty. <laughs> That's so gross. So this is my only drawer system that I own. All of my clothes either hang in my closet or they're in here. This is where my underwear goes, my socks go, my pajamas. Uh, work clothes. I would really love to make some room in here for some more of my delicate knits that I currently have hanging. We also have this wardrobe which actually doesn't hold any clothes at all. It holds our camera equipment and um, some Christmas gifts that we need to find a hiding place for. Ladies and gentlemen, my underwear drawer. I have underwear in here from when I was a teenager and that's just really kind of gross. <laughs> so I'm going to um, go ahead and get rid of a lot of the underwear that I just don't wear. <laughs> my underwear drawer now so much better so much neater I found some maternity compression underwear which I am going to add to my maternity pile I found some socks to donate this one contains pajamas some underwear sets I I don't really know <laughs> I went through a phase of wearing a lot of like workout stuff because that's what made me feel good postpartum, but I really don't wear them anymore. I'm going to keep a few of them just to wear like underneath dresses and skirts in the winter time. I'm going to donate a lot of that stuff. And then these ARC underwear sets are my favorite for sleeping in. These are like my pajamas. And then I have one actual set of pajamas and these are incredible. I'll actually link them below because I get asked about them all the time. There's some seasonal stuff in here, mostly seasonal stuff, some work clothes like paint clothes. A 
Okay, I'm super happy with this. I got a drawer clear because I was able to move some painting clothes into this one. So now this one is underwear sets slash pajamas. Um, workout, workout sets that I'll just wear underneath dresses. And then painting clothes, I've got a free drawer. I realize I really only have one delicate knit, so it gets this whole drawer all to itself. I know that this one over here contains um, like travel stuff, toiletries and things like that. I know one of these contains seasonal clothing. One of them might hold like, <laughs> one of them might hold um, maternity stuff. I don't really know. I have no idea what these ones hold. And those hats, like all of those are being donated. I never wear hats anymore. Let me go get a chair. This is what we are dealing with right now. We've got the dressers pulled out. They've been gone through and decluttered. Uh, we've got all of these top bins sitting here ready to be dug through. There's a lot in here that I didn't even know we had and that will definitely be donated. Zach also just got home, so we're gonna go through his clothes soon. <laughs> we need this. this is, put this in a safe place. Why, why do I have this? <laughs> oh. What is this? Oh. Do you have a pair of maternity jeans? Where is your phone, actually? It's right here. Damaged phone that you don't take care of. Hey. So if you take care of the things, it'll last longer. Have a purpose it used to have a purpose but now it's just where random miscellaneous stuff gets put when we don't know what to do with it i don't think anything in here needs to be in here anymore so they're gonna find new homes and i have a different plan for the shelf This is looking much better. Two of those baskets, those two are actually empty. Tons of spare hangers, which is good. I'm gonna take some of those to the guest closet. But now we need to address this. So I have five bins in here, and this is where I keep memories, keepsakes. One for each of my children, one for Zach and I, and then one with P.O. box letters from you guys. I keep every single one. Like this box is over 
flowing with super sweet letters from you guys. Which, by the way, if you want to send me a letter or send me something, I do have a P.O. box. I'll have it either in the description box of this video or on my website if my website is finished by the time this video goes live. But this system is just not working. My biggest thing is that there's no lids. So then when things start overflowing, they start getting everywhere, like Zach's clothes are getting in the way, that there's a bunch of random stuff underneath here and papers that are not where they're supposed to be. So I have an idea. I have these plastic drawers that were left over from the homeschooling cabinet that just didn't really work out in that area. So I bought another one and they're gonna sit up here. I'm gonna label these and then this is where all of the keepsake things are gonna go. And then my parents are actually going to Ikea this weekend. So they're going to pick up some boxes for me to put the current items into. So then we will have bigger boxes for keepsakes downstairs in the storage room. And then we'll continue collecting keepsakes in these drawers as we get them. And then when these drawers are full, we'll go through them, we'll put them in the appropriate boxes downstairs, and then it's just a really nice organized system. I love having a spot to easily store away keepsakes in our closet where it's easily accessible, otherwise they just end up sitting on our counter forever and get damaged or lost. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and just remove everything from here, store it in a safe place until we have those bins, and then I'll, I'll deal with that later. And now I'm realizing there's a few pieces I forgot about. I have a few <laughs> seasonal items I guess I must have just stuck back here for the time being. Um, so I'm going to be putting these up in the seasonal bin. <laughs> We are so close to being done. There's just one more thing. So on this back wall behind the door, we had two hooks. One of them fell down, but this is where we hang like our, our house coats. They're a little bit loose. So we're going to re-put those in so that we can rehang our house coats. And I think that's it. I'm real professional over here. Not stupid if it works. <laughs> this is really nice. It's lovely. Was it? Yeah. Um. Finally, our closet is complete. It is clean. It is decluttered. It looks fantastic. We got rid of a bunch of garbage. We are donating a gigantic box of clothes and hats and accessories. It feels so good to have this done. This is one huge area that has been weighing heavily on my mind. And now that one area of my home is done, I'm feeling a lot more motivated to tackle the rest of the house piece by piece. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this encouraged you to also go through your own closet and do the same declutter, organize. I'm so excited for this series. I cannot wait to tackle other areas in my house. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe because there's gonna be a whole bunch more coming your way this winter. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.